Investorideas.com podcast. Good afternoon and welcome to another episode of Investorideas.com podcast, looking at cannabis news, stocks to watch, as well as insights from thought leaders and experts. I'm Taylor Van Zant, your host, and today we're going to be looking at a few early announcements uh, from Slang Worldwide Incorporated trading on the CSE as SLNG, Afri Incorporated trading on the TSX and New York Stock Exchange as APHA, uh, Canna Royalty Corporation, also known as Origin House, trading on the CSE as OH and the OTCQX as ORHOF, and CLS Holdings US Incorporated, trading on the OTCQB and the CSE as CLSH. But first, uh, looking at Strain Point Technologies Limited. Now, they're not a public company, a smaller company in Canada, but they're the leader in cannabis data and analytics. And they were recognized for the best app at the 2019 O Cannabis Industry Awards Gala. We're so incredibly humbled to receive this award, said StarPrint CEO Andrew Murrah. From the very beginning, we designed the StarPrint app as a tool by patients for patients. To date, we've already helped tens of thousands learn which strains, doses, and routes of administration are working best for them and their symptoms. Being voted best app inspires us to not rest on our success, but rather to continually advance our technology and tools to create next generation products that provide wider wellness support for our patients that use cannabis. In the end, it's all about helping patients use cannabis better. To date, StarPrint has gathered more than 1.2 million real-time patient-reported outcomes from tens of thousands of medical cannabis patients treated with lab-tested products. These valuable patient insights can be leveraged by licensed producers, clinic researchers, pharmacists, physicians, government, and the entire global cannabis industry. The company was founded back in 2016 and has become the leading demand-side cannabis data and analytics company. Uh, the StarPrint app is free for patients and can be downloaded. Uh, there's links connected to the article below. Um, why is this important? I just think it's an interesting thing that this app has been voted best and also the fact that they're getting a lot of this data and it's free. So something worth checking out. Into the announcements now, looking at Slang Worldwide Incorporated, a leading global cannabis consumer packaged goods company with a robust portfolio of renowned brands distributed across 2,600 stores in 11 U.S. states, announced that it's entered into an agreement to acquire LBA Global Corporation and its Lunchbox Alchemy brand portfolio and subsidiary Hydro Distribution. This proposed transaction would bolster Slang's position in the Pacific Northwest by adding a complementary portfolio of top-selling products in Oregon and California and a robust supply chain of distribution capabilities. So a little bit about LBA, founded in 2014, and they are the owner of the award-winning Lunchbox Alchemy portfolio of cannabis brands, which has been recognized for its innovations in cannabis-infused edibles and concentrates. Today, LBA owns and manufactures a variety of ingestible products, um, and collectively, they rank as the second best ingestible brand in Oregon since 2014 per BDS Analytics. Uh, Lunchbox Alchemy also owns a CBD-infused product line that is currently available in retail stores in 40 states across the U.S. Slang co-founder and CEO Peter Miller said that Lunchbox Alchemy's products have proven themselves in some of the most competitive markets in the U.S. Their success is based on knowing what consumers want and delivering consistent product quality, diverse portion sizes, formulations, and high-quality organic and vegan ingredients. LBA's impressive management team with their diverse CPG expertise and the company's extraction, manufacturing facilities, and distribution business will bring significant new opportunities for Slang's brand products in Oregon and California, further establishing Slang's position as a leading global cannabis CPG company. Uh, so why is that important? Slang is just getting more distribution. Again, we're seeing more and more of these uh, agreements and acquisitions coming up. So they're not really, again, an exception, more following the rule. But I do find it interesting that they've got some of these, uh, the ingestible brands, and they're expanding throughout sort of the Pacific Northwest. Next, looking at Afria, a leading global cannabis company who today announced several new executive appointments, including James Myers to the role of Chief Operating Officer, Afria Learnington, Tim Purdy as Chief Information Officer, as Chief Information Security Officer, and Maureen Barry as Vice President of Corporate Human Resources. And the company also announced that Jacob Ripstein, Afria's president, will resign from the company. Mr. Ripstein will remain in his current role until June 7th, 2019, and his current responsibilities will be shared among the existing senior leadership team. Uh, so commenting on that, on behalf of the board of directors and AFRIA team, we thank Jacob for his contributions to the company over the past year and wish him well in his future endeavors. He has been instrumental in assembling the incredible team we have fortunate to have today that will carry his responsibilities forward, said Erwin D. Simon, Interim Chief Executive Officer of AFRIA. Very pleased to welcome Jim and Maureen to Afria and to promote Tim 
A top priority for us is to continue to build our executive talent and culture. We believe today's appointments demonstrate our commitment to adding depth, experience, and leadership to our team as we further advance APRIA's strategic priorities in Canada and around the world. Uh, so why is that important? A, I'm a little sad that Jacob Ripstein's gone. Uh, I kind of liked hearing his comments and some of the things he said, but he's going to be gone at the end of June, and uh, APRIA is going to be moving not in a different direction, but I assume in a steadier direction. Again, changes this big as far as executive members uh, has only happened a few times with some of the bigger companies, but APRIA, this has sort of been building for a while. Uh, Simon concluded that we have great opportunities around the world, including the recent award of our cultivation license in Germany, as well as in the U.S., where we're thoughtfully moving forward with strategic priorities to be in position to be uh, to succeed as the U.S. market evolves. Uh, so again, the fact that they're changing uh, their president as well as a few senior executive positions, I find interesting. And again, uh, this hasn't happened on this scale that recently, uh, especially with an Afria company that's medium-sized in the cannabis space. Next, looking at Canada Royalty Corporation, also known as Origin House, a North American cannabis products and brands company who announced that it's filed its management information circle letter, a letter of transmittal and related proxy materials, and will commence delivery of the meeting materials for its special meeting of shareholders to be held on June 11, 2019, in connection with its previously announced statutory plan of arrangement in which Crestco Labs Incorporated will acquire all the issued and outstanding shares of Origin House. Uh, shareholders of Origin House should receive these meeting materials by mail shortly, and the meeting materials are also available on Origin House's website at originhouse.com and on CDAR at CDAR.com. Origin House encourages shareholders to read the meeting materials in detail to ensure that the Origin House shares will be represented at the meeting. Shareholders should be carefully following the voting instructions provided in the meeting materials. And after consulting its financial and legal advisors, the board of directors of Origin House has unanimously recommended that shareholders of Origin House vote for the arrangement. So they are voting for Crestco Labs to take over the issued and outstanding shares of Origin House. So as I said, acquisitions are not an exception in the cannabis industry. They are the rule. And Origin House is a pretty decent sized company. The fact they're getting acquired by Cresco Labs, and we'll see how this plays out uh, over the next couple of weeks um, after consulting. So assuming that the conditions to the completion of the arrangement are satisfied, it's expected that the closing of this arrangement will be completed prior to the end of June. So about a month and a half away to see what happens with Origin House and Cresco Labs. And lastly, we're looking at CLS Holdings Incorporated, a diversified cannabis company, who today highlighted its financial and operational results for the month of April 2019 with a record revenue of 1,141,000. Results are compared to those of Alternate Solutions LLC, the entity CLS acquired in June of 2018 that operates Oasis and City Trees. Uh, so for Oasis Dispensary, they saw a record April 2019 revenue of $652,000, an increase of 56% from April 2018. Uh, City Trees, the company's branded product division, saw a revenue increase of $236,000 in April of 2018 to $489,000 in April of 2019, so a 52% increase. Uh, as previously announced, the Oasis Cannabis Dispensary completed a uh, renovation with vibrant new signage in March of 2019, and the results to date have been outstanding. So Oasis is able to process many more daily orders with greater efficiency and City Trees to continue to gain market share and now services 78% of the total dispensaries in Nevada. The City of Las Vegas recently approved social use venues, aka consumption lounges. In anticipation of this approval, the company leased 5,000 square feet of space in front of its existing dispensary. The company believes as a result of this, it's in a unique position to capitalize on another significant revenue stream. Uh, commenting on this, many of the initiatives management has put in place since the beginning of 2019 are starting to show significant results. The team in Las Vegas is functioning at a high level, and although we are less than halfway through May, we continue to see improved results in all categories. The combined operating divisions are operating profitably, and we will continue to work hard improving results with a focus on providing exceptional customer service to all our highly valued customers, said Andrew Glaslow, President and COO of the company. Uh, so why do I find that industry? Huge boost in sales, so over 50% growth uh, from last year, and as well the fact that Vegas is going to be getting those uh, consumption lounges. One more reason to go to Vegas as far as I'm concerned. So that's all for today's podcast, and enjoy the rest of your Tuesday. That's all for today's podcast. Podcast is now a certified word trademark on the blockchain through Cognate Incorporated CM certification. InvestorIdeas.com podcasts are also available on iTunes, Spotify, Google Play Music, Stitcher, iHeartRadio, Spreaker, and TuneIn. If you'd like to be a guest or sponsor of this podcast, please contact InvestorIdeas.com. 
Investor Ideas reminds all listeners to read our disclaimers and disclosures on the InvestorIdeas.com website, and this podcast is not an endorsement to buy products or services or securities. Investors are reminded that all investments involve risk and possible loss of investment. Investor Ideas does not condone the use of cannabis except for permissible by law. Our site does not possess, distribute, or sell cannabis products.